Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today, let's chat a little bit about uh, uh, getting a copyright on uh, the music you create. Um, uh, it's not a very uh, exciting topic, but uh, it's one you should know because if you don't get this right, uh, you're going to be in a world of hurt. And I'm going to use a personal example to show you guys what that world of hurt looks like. Uh, below in the description box, I have a link to my Genometric channel where... Um, you know, I've had it for years, and uh, lately I've put up uh, two albums that I released through my indie label uh, back in 2009. And part of what I do is, um, and this is a great little money-making thing for your music, uh, is I like to license uh, any material I ever release, because that's really where you can make some bucks. I know a lot of you guys think that you're going to release records, and people are just going to flock to iTunes and buy up all your stuff and you're going to drive around in Ferraris in six months. But um, to be realistic, uh, the real money is actually made in licensing your music. So uh, what I did was when I released these two albums, and I'm going to specifically focus on the iFunk album, uh, I licensed them to different licensing houses that place the stuff in commercials and uh, you know, wherever, you know, random videos, blah, 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 wherever, wherever, you know, their clients need music. And unfortunately, when I released the iFunk and the Cool Offs uh, albums, I did not copyright them. And, uh, you know, I didn't copyright them for a variety of reasons. Uh, first one being that uh, I had always heard the rumor that well, you know, as soon as you create it, you automatically have a copyright. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys right now, from personal experience, that's bullshit, right? Uh, because if you go, or when you go to check out my uh, the iFunk, the full album video that I put up, you will notice that uh, as Google uh, on YouTube, as they typically do, um, they match the algorithm of your music, and then they add a little, um, you know, buy the album... Uh, in, at iTunes or Google Play, that little, and they show you the album cover on on the lower right-hand side of the video. You guys have seen them, right? Um, here's what had happened with me. Um, I had gotten involved with a licensing house. This was actually a sole individual uh, who basically did not know how to run their um, administrative side of the business. And what this gentleman ended up doing was he ended up retitling my music right? And leaving the band name in place, retitling my music, and then licensing it to anybody who would give him the time of day. And unfortunately for me, um, as he retitled these tracks and licensed them out, um, they went ahead and, and did their own copywriting on it, right? And um, guess what now? The original song from iFunk that I released in 2009 is now being... Uh, used to advertise somebody else's compilation of my material, okay, with a changed song title. Thank God they kept at least the band name the same because in other cases, the band name has been changed too, all right? So now as far as YouTube goes or Google, they think that anytime they hear a, a, a song or a art that I created, I no longer get credit for it. Now, Obviously, you know, I'm going to get some residuals from it because if it makes money on ads uh, or somebody buys their compilation, I'll, I'll see a couple couple cents here and there. But this isn't about the money. This is about because I didn't get my copyright uh, done or I didn't take the appropriate steps when I released my music, somebody else laid claim to it. And the only way that I can fix this now is by... Taking my master sessions, you know, the multi-tracks of those original sessions, uh, hiring a lawyer, going to court, getting in front of a judge, and basically stating the case that, hey, I'm the original copyright owner of this, even though it's not documented, because I have the masters. That, my friends, would cost me thousands and thousands of dollars to do. And it's just not really worth it. Why? Because the album doesn't generate that much to justify it. So, long story short, this is what I recommend. Uh, I know a lot of you guys put your stuff, you know, you do a track, you're excited, you put it up on YouTube, great, you know, or uh, you really want to release a single, you just put it out. Here's what you need to do. You go to copyright.gov, right? Now, 
it's about 35 bucks to copyright uh, a sound recording. You want to look for the SR form, the sound recording form. You could do all of this digitally right through copyright.gov. Okay. But here's what I recommend. They allow you to do, uh, to copyright like a, a body of work, a compilation or an album. So in other words, don't copyright the track you just finished last week because that's going to get expensive. It's going to cost you 35 bucks per track. What I suggest you guys do uh, before you put anything online, and I'm not even talking about official releases. I'm talking about before you put a single track on YouTube or you upload it anywhere, you, you, you basically create 20 tracks, create 30 tracks, and then you go to copyright.gov and you copyright that as a compilation. So that's not a bad deal because now you're paying about a buck a track to copyright it. See, and what's interesting about that is if you end up licensing one of those tracks and the same thing happens to you like it happened with me with my iFunk and the Cool Offs albums, when somebody else, you see one of your licensing guys has renamed your track and they're advertising on, they're advertising basically on something you created, uh, you know, and it's on your platform, it's on your site, you can click dispute copyright claim with YouTube. And the first thing that YouTube will ask you is for your claim number. And if you copyright your stuff, you can give them that claim number, you see? So you can save yourself this headache, you know, because it's really heartbreaking. It's really not about the money. It's about me putting my heart and soul into it and somebody goofing up somewhere down the line. And now I can't even be credited for my own art without having to go through some legal, pricey, um, court hearing. So please, uh, guys and gals, when you work on your music, compile 20 or 30 tracks and copyright them. And then by all means, feel free to do whatever you want with them. Release them officially, put them on your YouTube page. It doesn't matter. But copyright is important. Uh, always copyright your stuff before you publish it. Okay. Um, that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I got a couple interesting things uh, I'm actually going to be going over with you shortly. So I'll see you then. Peace.